welcome back to the Court of the Week, where I'm here every week to remind you everyone wants to play lead, but chords are cool. Our chord this week is A minor, add two over C. One of the chords this month was A minor, add two, but as you can see, we have another voicing here, and this is with C in the bass instead of the A. Let's check out our chord diagram. And here is how I play A minor, add two over C. C is our bass note. It's the sixth string, eighth fret. E is the perfect fifth. It's the third string, ninth fret. A is the root, second string, 10th fret. And B is the two, it's the first string, seventh fret. How do you play A minor, add two over C? This is another tricky one. We're reaching all the way down on the sixth string with our second finger and then on the first string with our first finger. So it's quite a stretch and a little bit uncomfortable when you're first starting out. But like I always say, your thumb is your greatest tool and depending on where it is in the back of the neck, it's gonna give you the space to get to the, all the notes in the chord. If you notice, if you have your thumb all the way up here on the top of the neck, you're not gonna have as much space down here. But if you slide your thumb behind the neck down low, you'll have the strength to hold all the notes down, but you'll also give your palm space to reach all of them. So what I like to recommend is if you're having trouble with all four notes, let's just start with the top three, strings one, two, and three. That's not too bad of a stretch. And then slowly over time, you'll be able to add that bass note there, the C on the sixth string. You can hear A minor, add two over C in the song Tears in the Rain by Joe Satriani. I'm going to be posting a transcription and tutorial video of that song. You'll find a wealth of chords and wonderful sounds that you too will be able to use in different ways. So I hope you'll check that out. If you have heard A minor two over C in a different song, please share with us so we can check it out. And don't forget, Check back next week for another episode of The Chord of the Week.